Unit Eight. New ways to learn. Page twenty-six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. I'm preparing for a class discussion on personal electronic devices. Do you think smartphones, laptops, and tablets are useful for learning? Definitely, they're the modern devices that have changed the way we learn. Oh, yeah. I think people use smartphones mostly for communication. Sure, but smartphones can also be used to take photos or record students' work, which can be later shared with the class. That's true. How about laptops? Oh, they're excellent learning tools too. You can store information, take notes, write essays, and do calculations. You can also access the internet. Download programs and information that can help you understand the material and widen your knowledge. Right, my laptop, which is a present from my parents, is very useful. I use it for assignments and projects, and for studying English. I see. How about tablets? Well, a tablet or a tablet computer is a kind of mobile computer, and. It can be used to take notes with a digital pen on a touch screen. A tablet is also perfect for people whose work is to draw and write. Yes, I agree. A tablet with Wi-Fi has internet access and is a great tool for looking up information. Amazing! No wonder that so many people are using these devices. Unit eight. Page twenty-eight. Language. Activity one. Listen and repeat. One. Concentrate. Similar. Contribute. Digital. Two. Introduce. Excellent. Recognize. Vietnamese. Three. Understand. Personal. Interest. Symbolic. Unit eight. Page twenty-eight. Language. Activity two. Listen again, and put a mark before the stressed syllable. One. Concentrate. Similar. Contribute. Digital. Two. Introduce. Excellent. Recognize. Vietnamese. Three. Understand. Personal. Interest. Symbolic. Unit eight. Page thirty-one. Skills. Activity two. Listen to a teacher giving instructions on how to use online English language materials. 
decide if the statements are true or false. Well, I guess sometimes you may feel disappointed by your bad grades and get tired of things like books, blackboards, cassettes, and CD players. No worries. I'll show you how to learn English easily and effectively just with your fingertips. Have you heard of triple E? It means easy, effective English. How can learning English be easy but effective? The secret is so simple. Use electronic devices to access and take advantage of online English language materials. There are many good websites on the internet. All you need to do is type some keywords and click on the search engine button. Instantly, you see hundreds of web pages on the screen and open the ones you like. Many sites offer exciting lessons, activities, and quizzes for English learners of all ages and levels. There are pictures, games, and explanations, which are useful for learning vocabulary and grammar. Do you want to improve your listening, speaking, and pronunciation? Practice online with native speakers. Choose the sites where you can record your own voice and listen to yourself. Everything is so fast and convenient. Just one click away. Obviously, technology has made learning English easy and efficient and increased your chance of success. Unit 8 Page 31 Skills Activity 3 Listen again and complete the following sentences by writing no more than three words. Well, I guess sometimes you may feel disappointed by your bad grades and get tired of things like books, blackboards, cassettes, and CD players. No worries. I'll show you how to learn English easily and effectively just with your fingertips. Have you heard of triple E? It means easy, effective English. How can learning English be easy but effective? The secret is so simple. Use electronic devices to access and take advantage of online English language materials. There are many good websites on the internet. All you need to do is type some keywords and click on the search engine button. Instantly, you see hundreds of web pages on the screen and open the ones you like. Many sites offer exciting lessons, activities, and quizzes for English learners of all ages and levels. There are pictures, games, and explanations, which are useful for learning vocabulary and grammar. Do you want to improve your listening, speaking, and pronunciation? Practice online with native speakers. Choose the sites where you can record your own voice and listen to yourself. Everything is so fast and convenient. Just one click away. Obviously, technology has made learning English easy and efficient and increased your chance of success. Unit 8 Page 34 Looking Back Activity 1 Listen and repeat 
three syllable adjectives. Adjective. Electric. Effective. Wonderful. Convenient. Similar. Three syllable verbs. Graduate. Develop. Continue. Consider. Dedicate. Recommend. Unit eight. Page thirty four. Looking back. Activity two. Listen again and put a mark before the stressed syllable. Three syllable adjectives. Adjective. Electric. Effective. Wonderful. Convenient. Similar. Three syllable verbs. Graduate. Develop. Continue. Consider. Dedicate. Recommend.